Hi everyone, hope all are doing great. Today I'll be walking through how to connect HubSpot to an Aten account. I know it might be easy to connect HubSpot account with an official uh, an Aten subscription account, but it is a little bit complicated when you want to connect it with a self-hosted an Aten account. So I'll walk you through how to connect uh, to a self-hosted an Aten account. So you can do with both of these accounts as a developer account or just simply take the super admin account, get the access there and build it. So I'll be doing with the super admin ac account that I have got access from the client all you just have to click on here and go to legacy app then create create a public app and name it test and I done <clears throat> cool now go to old section go to an uh, so you have to understand one fact that there are two type of integration um, with HubSpot. One is basically a trigger um, which requires a different kind of scopes and in integration. So trigger basic like a webhook. If something happened inside HubSpot and, and you want to monitor that action, which will be immediately appear here or the action will be run immediately in the um, N8N. So you know how webhook works, right? And then we have another section called action. This is like a normal actions that we have like for all the nodes that we have like create a record delayed contact or whatever you want to do that from an item to your client's hubspot account or your hubspot account so these are the two things that we have to keep in mind in order to connect hubs per perfectly so that's very important so let's start with trigger click here now you will be able to see this and create new credential so here's the thing we we need this URL, which is very important. So copy that URL, go back to your app, paste it here, redirect URL section. So paste it here. And then we have to add new scopes. So that is very important. And I'll share with you the documentation and you'll find it there. Yeah, copy all of them and add one by one so make sure we need all of them we can't miss any of these because then we won't be able to successfully authenticate now we are good just create the app perfect now all we need is the app id you see app ID here. Uh, we need a client ID. Just copy the client ID and paste it here. Then we need client secret. Okay, now we need the develop, developer API key. Click here. And then click on keys, developer API, and simply copy and paste it here. select the workspace um, and no connect. So this is a warning that's saying you're connecting an app un unverified app. app th th that means the app is not verified. Of course, it's a custom app and it's not verified by HubSpot. So it's just a warning, nothing else. Uh, connect the app. Okay, we have connected. So name it, I'm just naming it to test. <sighs> Perfect, now we can uh, monitor any kind of actions inside the HubSpot account. For example, if any company is created in HubSpot, if we execute that, then it will start listening. For example, if someone in their team just created a company name, it will automatically pop up here with all the information. So that is what basically a trigger does. Perfect. Now we have to connect actions. So you know, um, I have explained what is action basically. So just simply um, click here. It means you will be uh, taking action to make any changes inside the HubSpot from an item. So that is why it's a bit different uh, when it need to integrate. And we have to select OO2. And we don't have to worry about this one now because we have already that uh, uh, URL pasted there. All we just need the client ID, client secret, and one more thing, which I'm going to show you. We need to add more scopes. So uh, go ahead and add new scopes. Go to the documents. Now you see, we need all of the scopes to be added in order to connect. We have to all of them like we did before in order to successfully authenticate the connection.
and make changes cool and now let's do the same copy the client id client id here and copy the client secret simply paste it here and let's connect okay it will be showing you the same warning we don't have to worry about that just go down below and connect app that's it now we have connected our hubspot to the anytime account now you can perform any action if you want and you can do any kind of automation that you want so let me know if you have any question or any confusion thank you so much for watching the video bye